What is Operation Northwoods? How did it affect your past? How does it affect your present? And how will it affect your future? My name is Andrew Demeter, reporting on behalf of Press for Truth, and today I have some answers to those vital questions. So to begin with, let's track back to 1962, where the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States from within the Pentagon are drafting a top-secret memorandum dubbed Operation Northwoods, or at the time alternatively named Justification for U.S. Military Intervention in Cuba. So what was Operation Northwoods, the document, specifically about, and what type of information and intelligence did it chronicle? Well, Operation Northwoods outlined a series of false flag terror plots and operations to be executed on U.S. soil by the Central Intelligence Agency, consisting of bombings and hijackings ranging from Miami, Florida to Washington, D.C. But why would the American government in the land of the free and home of the brave be so willing to jeopardize the lives and well-being of their own American civilians? Well, the answer to that is right within the document, and I'll quote it in just a second. But the intention of these false flag attacks and operations was to, in essence, frame Cubans as the perpetrators and patsies of these attacks as a means to fabricate a false pretext for the U.S. military invasion into Cuba to both oust Fidel Castro for political aims and dismantle his communistic reign. Now, the document quotes, The desired resultant from the execution of this plan would be to place the United States in the apparent position of suffering defensible grievances from a rash and irresponsible government of Cuba and to develop an international image of a Cuban threat to peace in the Western Hemisphere. End quote. Now, if the Kennedy administration and JFK himself had not in fact rejected these voices of the Joint Chiefs of Staff within the government, we may have never got our hands on such valuable intelligence concerning Operation Northwoods. Thankfully, the document surfaced into public purview in November 18th, 1997, and it was actually released by the John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Review Board, which was responsible for liberating documents pertaining to Kennedy's assassination. What is the message and moral of the story here? Well, it's that if you're a president or any type of diplomatic or influential figure in the government or really anywhere, Peace is not profitable. If you're not willing to wage war on innocent people, then you're not really fit for the position. And that's a great lesson to teach my generation, future generations, and previous generations, right? That is the message of liberty in essence. Thanks for watching. This has been Andrew Demeter reporting on behalf of Press for Truth, signing off.